An error occurred. I think we're live now. So um, how are you doing? I'm back again, second time. Um, it says I am live. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I am. Who knows? Anyway, if somebody turns up, when well, I know that we're live. Uh, right. So uh, second time today, um, a bit of a clickbaity title, I guess. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, I've sat on uh, a decision for about three weeks whether or not to share and actually uh, the reason why I'm sharing is included in the two pages of notes I've got in front of me about what I want to talk to you about so um, <clears throat> about three weeks ago I did something uh, I took an opportunity uh, to do something and I messed it up and uh, so I thought uh, today would be uh, the right time now, uh, three weeks on, to uh, share uh, some of the lessons I learned on what what I did and how I've gone about addressing that. So, um, because uh, like anybody else, you know, I do stuff and it doesn't always work. <laughs> and um, I took a risk uh, three weeks. I can't. This is, I'm a little bit frustrated because I've been waiting for some things to happen so that I can be a bit more open about the mistake that I made and I can't. So, uh, but I don't want to wait any longer to share with you um, uh, the, the uh, lessons that I've learned. So, so because it's a, it's a, it's a good lesson for business generally, to be honest with you. So, so I've written some stuff down here and uh, I thought I'd go through a few of those uh, with you because one of the reasons why, um, you know, one of the things about making mistakes is to, to sort of share with others so that they don't make the same mistake that you did. So um, so the first thing, just gen generically, I want to go through a few bits, just generic things with you. And the first thing that I've written down here is, and for those that know me will know this anyway, is uh, to take 100% responsibility for everything in your life. So, you know, and so uh, when I messed up three weeks ago, uh, one of the things that I did immediately was take full responsibility for that there was no blame i didn't make any excuses i apologized to the the uh, people that i messed up with and took responsibility for that and then went about trying to understand you know what you know what could i've done or if i had another chance at it what would be the difference so so the first thing about mistakes in life and in business of course is to acknowledge it and take full responsibility for it so um that kind of goes without saying it isn't the easiest thing to do sometimes because sometimes there may be a really open and apparent reason why something has happened or why you've messed up uh, or something hasn't gone the way that you wanted it to. And you might want to blame or use an excuse. And actually, uh, the sooner you can get into accepting responsibility uh, for it, the easier it is then to start working out, well, what could I have done and what have you. So the next thing that I did uh, that I always do is that if I mess up or a, a particular mistake has been made, I internally start to ask myself some questions. So I wrote a few of them down here. So um, what did I miss or fail to do uh, is was a very uh, obvious question for me based on the, the circumstances uh, that I was in. Uh, what did I uh, what did I fail to do and what did I miss that caused that uh, failure to happen? Uh, some of these questions are actually quite um, tough to ask yourself. Uh, what if I had an opportunity to do this again, which is a really good positive question to ask yourself. Um, if I got to go around again, what would I do differently? And I've listed a whole raft of things underneath that. Um, and what have I learned? So, um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, constantly in a learning space. So, you know, there's always things that we can learn. Um, uh, the, the other thing that I wrote underneath that, which is what have I learned from messing up and how can I prevent a reoccurrence? Because obviously one of the most important things that you want to be able to do, um, is make sure you don't do it again. So, uh, so I, I, I always look to find ways to plug the hole so that if you do get another bite at it, um, uh, you, you get another opportunity. It reminds me of actually, um, 
a life a kind of opportunity that I had. Uh, oh, God, 2007, 2008 um, was on my kind of radar to do a talk in Los Angeles to other business coaches. And um, it, it was like one of those wow things. I, I ended up with this opportunity to go. And I went to Los Angeles to speak to like hundreds and hundreds of other business coaches. And, um, I, and I really didn't enjoy the experience like pro, like I, I can't begin to tell you how pissed off I was with myself so I really didn't enjoy it um you know the feedback was great but I personally I actually have no recollection of the talk that's how much I sort of dismissed it out of my brain and I came home uh, from Los Angeles thinking that was it I'm never going to get that opportunity again it was a one-off um, they're not going to invite me back to do that again. Well, l within weeks of being home, I got the same opportunity again uh, to do this in Dublin. So um, the, the later that year. <clears throat> so you never can tell. And so the whole preventing reoccurrence and what have I learned became very, really important questions to ask yourself. And so when I went and did it the second time, I absolutely had a ball and I really enjoyed myself. And uh, I can't begin to tell you how much better it was for me personally. And I think as a result of that, it was for the audience too. Um, another thing that is really powerful to do when you make a mistake is do what I'm doing right now, which is share what you've learned. So, and, you know, I, you know we're going through a few of those here. Um, back in my police days, um, one of the things that I was taught when I was learning to drive panda cars um, was I got told off for not concentrating when somebody else was driving the panda car. And the instructor said to me, look, you should learn from other people's mistakes because it's far less painful and sometimes it's a greater learning. So and so, you know, sharing out when you make a mistake and, and being open and honest about things that you've learned will help others from not making the same mistake that you did. And in business, that is such a really abundant thing to do. So I'd highly recommend that you share these uh, things when you have them. And then the last one, which I'm pretty sure I've stolen away uh, or uh, borrowed or <laughs> um uh plagiarized or i don't even know what the word is but i love the terminology uh, i think uh, uh taz thornton taz thornton uses it which is flip the negative so um and uh that's one of the reasons why i've delayed a little bit in coming on and talking about um uh, how i messed up because it's finding an appropriate way to flip the negative on it and i think i'm sort of there with what i want to do so um so i'm going to share that at the end Right. So me as a person, I'm a rule breaker. I always have been right back from school times. Um, and uh, certainly in business, you know, I say the golden rule of business is that there are no rules. On the contrary, you know, one of the things is it's not about following rules. It's about just get on and do stuff, fail and learn. So um, and uh you know, of course, there are rules that we need to legal rules that we need to abide by. But often when I get given uh, an opportunity to to do something um, and I can see a way of breaking the rules, I'll you know, I'll just if I think it's better, then I'll just get on and do it. And um, I was definitely uh, on character when I did this thing a few weeks back. I broke some rules and went off of brief. So I had a brief. And I didn't follow that brief uh, specifically. Uh, I took a risk and it backfired on me. And, um, you know, business is all about risk. And um, I, you know, I encourage people to take risk, but only take a risk on something that you can influence the outcome of. And I felt that it was worth the risk because I could influence the outcome of taking that risk. Uh, but clearly, I didn't influence the outcome enough. Um, the lesson for me there is that it's absolutely perfectly fine for me to break a rule and to take a risk and go off brief if the only person that it affects is me. And when I went off brief and didn't do what I were, what it was advised I did and failed, um, I robbed myself of an opportunity, which is fine. You know, I learned from that. But what hurts me more, I think, is that I have now robbed 
other people of the opportunity that I was trying to create. And so part of flipping the negative for me has been what can I do to compensate for that? So so I'm definitely going to make sure I address that. So uh, because it's perfectly fine for me to be affected by rules that I break, but it's not OK for me to impact the opportunity for others. And I definitely did that when I went off brief and basically messed up. I've taken away an opportunity for others uh, to, to share something with other people. Right. So couple of other bits because I've been rambling on for 10 minutes. Um, something that I shared with, um, uh, you know, somebody that I work with um, probably two years ago, um, it was in a coaching conversation about um, a video that was being produced. And um, he asked me what I thought of it. And I said to him, uh, he was putting together like a tender video for something. And it was Amdram. It wasn't great. And this is somebody that's normally very good in front of camera. And uh, the line I gave him was, don't mock your exams. So I learned an incredibly powerful lesson at school is that I saw them as mocks and not as a, the proper exams. And so I didn't really prep for my mocks and I messed up my mocks, which meant that my exams weren't the exams I should have sat. So, so you should never mock your exams. You should always train like you fight. So um, th these two things are quite hard for me to do from a speaking perspective because in 15 years I have never once rehearsed or practiced a talk ever so never once so uh, the first time that I throw a punch in any kind of fight is when I'm in the ring so I never you know spar or shadow box so um, I think speaking um, other than the preparation of, of slide decks and things comes from in here. And so for me, you know, my all my talks have always been just straight out. You, you know, I kind of just go for it. And this was probably one of those occasions where it's bit me and I probably should have done something to prepare better for that. Um, breaking rules occasionally um, is fine by my uh, definition, as long as I'm prepared to pay the price for it. And on this occasion, something that I overlooked was actually it meant that others would be paying a price for that too, which is something that I'm uh, incredibly uh, unhappy about. Um, and I think that was kind of it. I've got two pages of notes here. So anyway, so what am I going to do? So um, in, in, the back, in the background here, you will see, um, for those that have stuck around the 12 minutes in, now you're going to get to know. So thank you for staying with me is my jar of smarties now um l i'm gonna say less than 150 people about 150 people know the relevance and meaning of that jar of smarties and that was part of my failure and messing up three weeks ago um because there is a story an incredibly powerful story that sits behind that jar of smarties that i wanted to be able to share and I'm not going to be able to share it on the platform that I wanted to share it on. So in order to flip the negative, as soon as time allows, uh, uh, sorry, um, circumstances allow, um, we'll always find the time. As soon as circumstances allow, I am going to present this. I've only ever done it once. I'm going to present uh, this talk um, around this jar of smarties. Um, uh, in a room, you know, with real people, I don't want to do it on a video. It's not the same. Um, and uh, I, so I'm going to do it for myself. So rather than do it via a third source, a third party source, um, uh, in order to flip that negative, I'm going to build an event around the theme of what this it doesn't look very big, but it's nearly five feet tall back in the in the in the back of my office here. I dare not go away and pick it up because I've got shorts on. Um, and if I spill those smarters, I'll be picking them up forever. Um, but I'm going to do a talk around uh, what that is uh, in order to uh, sort of compensate for those that are going to be missing out on something I messed up on. That was it. I feel good about for getting that off my chest. It's been sat with me for over three weeks. Um, Acknowledge and accept 100% responsibility for your mistakes. Um, ask yourself some powerful questions. What did I miss or fail to do? Um, if What if I got to do this again? What have I learned and how can I prevent a reoccurrence? 
share the lesson so that other people get to benefit from the mistake that you made and find a way to flip the negative. They're my top tips on messing up and making mistakes. I'll always be a rule breaker. I think that's part of what's got me on in life. Um, it, it's just who I am. Uh, on this occasion, it didn't quite work out as it should have done. Um, but I don't hold on to it. I'm like good at moving on. I, I, I was sort of... Uh, um, you know, working out what I was going to do with it um, three weeks ago. Uh, but I've been waiting f for me to be able to be more open about um, uh, what I messed up on, but I still can't do that. So uh, other than the fact that it involved this big tube of Smarties. So anyway, hopefully create a little bit of intrigue. Uh, we are going to do it. We're going to do it in a public space uh, when we're allowed to. Uh, we're going to get as many of you into a room as we can, and it will all be centered around the theme that involves this tube of smarties thanks for tuning in thank you for staying with me for 15 minutes if you did um because hopefully the meaty stuff was towards the end um yeah we'll catch up with you soon um if you mess up put your hand up acknowledge accept responsibility for that um learn from it and move on so enjoy the rest of your day the sun's shining it's a beautiful wednesday and we'll catch up with you again soon take care bye for now